okay friends uh, in this video I'm going to talk about the shifting cultivation method now this is a, a, a different kind of cultivation method that is commonly used in India and also in some uh, regions of Europe now what is uh, this shifting cultivation as you can see in this schematic presentation that suppose we are having this infertile uh, soil we having fertile soil now what we do in, uh, with this fertile soil we farm uh, on this onto this fertile soil for many years like three to four or sometimes five six years in this fertile soil now right after the fer fertility throughout this four and five years the fertility of the soil is almost gone and the soil becomes infertile soil so let me take the color okay it becomes the infertile soil right after four or five years okay now that that those infertile soil uh, at that time uh, was no longer able to be uh, for for good cultivation of uh, crops okay so in this situation what happens we need we, we let this infertile soil settle down for uh, some many years so so we go we, we just set them for regrowth and after some times again this this soil uh, again start to gain its fertile activity and start to gain all the ingredients necessary for the plant and uh, plant development so at that some time what it becomes the intact forest again and after uh, when the intact forest is produced now what is the indicator of making this fertile soil the production of a forest now forest means a simple forest of, of natural habitats there are different plants of that natural habitat of that environment forest start to grow and when you see this forest we start to go and cut all those trees of the forest slash and burn those trees now I want you to emphasize on this point slashing and burning of the forest trees and right after that what we end up with something like that so this is uh, the fertile soil again and it is ready to be cultivated again so this is a circle of shifting so that's why you call the shifting cultivation that means in this kind of cultivation technique we must need different areas or many one or, or more than two or three different areas for cultivation purpose for carrying it out uh, for several years now in this mm, uh, next picture what we are having we are seeing different plots like first plot second plot so this is the different plots or different regions uh, for the cultivation purpose so what happens if it is fertile then we can go and, and cultivate uh, we, we farm onto this right after that when it uh, this soil becomes infertile we move on to next lot then then third and we, we can go on like this okay oh, so that this is the basic cultivation technique uh, which is uh, widely used in India but it this technique is having a major disadvantage uh, or major adverse effect in uh, the environment why because what we are doing we are actually slashing and burning trees down there we are slashing and burning trees of a grown forest so as a result of that what happens we can we, we are blocking the production of o2 we are blocking uh, the mm, what you can say well, the the actual uh, quality of the soil and we also uh, uh, we, we are also making trouble for the rain situation so so this this slashing and burning of forest have di different in adverse effect mm, uh, so as you can see in this case so this kind of uh, incidents uh, which is going on in, in, in now on in our planet can can make us uh, think about what we are doing so this kind of shifting cultivation was uh, widely used in previous time but nowadays uh, there is a pro there is a protection law against this tree uh, or cutting of this tree or cutting down of this trees that's why uh, they start to block this kind of uh, shifting cultivation okay so in this shi shifting cultivation technique what we generally don't use we do not use the pesticides we just grow we just utilize the fertile fertility of the soil for good growth of farming so so that's why this is a major concern nowadays uh, this kind of shifting cultivation is, is cannot be done so we need what 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 is the alternative way of doing this is we are having a, pl uh, a plot and that plot we need to cultivate many different types of uh, vegetables not one type of because one type of vegetables de demand a particular type of nutrient source from the soil so th that those nutrient source are getting depleted from the soil but other nutrient source still available now we utilize some other uh, generation some other type of vegetable on the, on those uh, soil which actually take the remaining nutrients and as uh, they are taking this remaining nutrients the previous nutrients which were depleted from the soil start to grow into the soil again and after some year we can again uh, utilize that soil to produce another type of uh, vegetable so what we can doing we, we, can, we, are, we are actually can uh, can do different uh, layers or different types of vegetable cultivation using that same plot over time at time and and that again we are not actually uh, uh, getting those soil infertile in those time okay so we are not actually mm, uh, 
make that soil infertile we, we, we are actually taking some of those nutrients for particular vegetation growth then right after that we utilize another type of uh, another type of nutrient source for the for the growth and we are cultivate we are just changing uh, by changing the cultivation pattern by changing the type of plant we are growing we can actually control this and we are actually con controlling this we utilize uh, this kind of technique this modern approaches nowadays and that reduces this uh, this kind of adverse effect onto the planet okay so that is uh, all about the shifting cultivation and this shifting cultivation also known as the zooming uh, cultivation uh, okay or zoom farming so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you